Hello guys, today we will continue in our book Family and Friends Unit 1, You Can Build It. In this time, we are talking about a boy that has always wanted a tree house, but he can't do it or make it with, him, with himself alone. So his dad will help him. And how he will help him, we will know when we read this text. Okay, but now we will have our new words for this lessons, these lessons. Number one, tree house. Tree house. It's a structure built in branches of tree for children to play, like what we see in this picture. Okay, number two, plan. Plan. A detailed map of a building. The engineer drew a plan to build the building. Okay. Board. Board. Board means a long, thin piece of a strong, hard material, especially wood, used for building. Okay. Long, thin piece of strong, hard material, especially especially wood used for building carpet carpet a piece of thick woven material made of wool woven material made of wool used as a floor covering it's something that we put on the floor to walk on it straight it's an adjective means going on one direction without a curve like what we see in the picture a little bit a little bit it's an adverb means small amount of something small amount of something crocked crocked it's an adjective means twisted not in a straight line it's not in a straight line so it is the opposite of straight it's like what we see in the picture ladder it's a noun it's a piece of equipment for climbing a piece of equipment for climbing we use it to climb trees or climb the high places as we see in the picture okay pull pull it's a verb to hold something to move it to hold something to move it this is the mean of pull okay so if we want to make a tree house build a tree house we need some we need to draw plan plans and we want some boards carpets and we want straight we want straight boards to make the walls of the tree house and we want some glass for the windows um, and of course we have we, we have to have a ladder to climb the tree to go to the tree house of course okay now let's go for our exercises is the correct answer the door wasn't straight it was crocked crock crocks cocks so we said that the opposite of straight is crocked okay the carpenter will need a so board border a broad which is a large flat piece of wood to make new bed so it's yes the carpenter needs a board number three the architect sent us the set plans branch seat for our new flat so the, arch the architect 
sent us the plans. Architect is a engineer, the engineer that built buildings. Okay. Number four, he so see so would sees glued glued and hammered. So it's sewed. Sewed means to use the saw to cut something. To use the saw to to cut something. Here, sewed comes as a verb, and glued as a verb means to to join uh, two things with glue. And hammered means to use the hammer to um, hit something or hit nails okay so here so glued hammered comes as verbs number five the wall wasn't long tall straight short it was crocked we said that the opposite of crocked is straight Okay, let's go for the next exercise. Read the following passage and answer the questions. Number one, sorry, we will read. One day, a dog took a loaf of bread. Okay, loaf of bread from a baker's and ran away. Baker's mean the, big, the bakery, the shop. Okay, the dog ran fast because it didn't want to be chased and caught. On its way, it passed by a canal where there was a bridge across it. To get to the other bank, the dog had to cross the canal across the bridge. The other bank means the other edge of the canal. While it was walking along the bridge, the dog looked at the clear water of the canal. Of course, it saw itself in the water with the loaf of bread in its mouth. It thought that there was another dog with a loaf of bread in its mouth. It quickly opened its mouth to, to take the other loaf but its own loaf fell into the water and it go got nothing so now we will answer the questions why did the dog run fast because because he uh, it sorry it didn't want to be chased and caught. Number two. What did the dog get at last? Got nothing because the loaf fell into the water. Number three, what did it see in the clear water? So it so itself. in the water choose the correct answer the dog thought it was it so yes another dog with a loaf this story teaches us that we shouldn't be 
yes weak greedy honest so it's greedy greedy means want more thing and uh, more of the something of the thing we want more money we want more food we want more uh, fame so we have we shouldn't be greedy okay let's go for the next exercise write questions for these sentences yes I have been to Luxor twice before use have so have when we start the, uh, the question with have or has or any helping verb we will delete yes or no and I turns to you have you been to Luxor before and question mark number two he has stayed there for long time how long so how long has he stayed there okay number three no, Selma hasn't done her homework yet. We will delete no and start with has. Selma done her homework. And question mark. The manager has stayed in London for two weeks use who so so who has has stayed in London And this is what we have for today. We will meet another time. Bye.